So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. Now to get here, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you wanna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You want to repeat this three times. So you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when you turn it on, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly, you wanna click on advanced options. And then once we're here, I'm gonna be showing you four different ways on how we can fix this problem. So for the first method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then you wanna go with start to repair. If you do not see start to repair, you wanna click on see more recovery options, then it should appear right here. So you wanna click on start to repair. It's now gonna start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. And now hopefully this will have fixed your problem. If not, we're gonna click on advanced options. And now for the second method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options. Now we're gonna go with system restore. Wait for this to load. If you have a restore point enabled on your computer, then you wanna click on next and then go back to your restore point. This should then fix your problem. If you don't have one, that's fine. We're gonna click on cancel. And now for the next method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And then once we're on this, we're gonna type in bootrec space forward slash fix MBR. Click on enter. Now we're gonna type in bootrec space forward slash fix boot. Click on enter again. If you get this error, just ignore it. Now we're gonna type in bootrec space forward slash scan OS. Click on enter again. And now we're gonna type in bootrec space forward slash rebuild BCD. Click on enter again. And now we're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now and click on enter. Then you want to run the scan. Wait for this to load. And then once that's been done, we're now gonna close out of command prompt. Now you just wanna to continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed. If the problem is still not fixed, then you wanna come back to this screen like I showed you how to do at the start of the video. Now you wanna click on troubleshoot and then reset this PC. If you don't have your files backed up, you can go with keep my files. If you do have them backed up, you can go remove everything. Reset your computer, this should not fix your problem.